Good morning. It is 9.01 a.m. on Saturday and I wanted to do a quick little get ready with me. I tried to film this video like three times all the way, uh, by the way, so uh, let's hope this works. But um, yeah, so for primer, I'm using St. Ives Glowing Moisturizing Serum. If you see me looking over there, I just am making sure that my uh, camera, phone, whatever, is still filming, so, um, just ignore that, but I've been using this as a primer for a long time now. It's been the only thing for me, I feel like, that has worked as, like, a primer, so I use this because my foundation, like, blends really well with it, so this is what I'll be using. And then for foundation, I'm using this um, Photo Ready Glow by Revlon. So I'm just going to wait for this to sink into my skin before I start applying that. Nathan and I have been really sick, so I haven't been filming anything. Um, I was like really sick like i feel like i probably should have been in the hospital i've never been that sick before in my life so we were sick for like a whole two weeks i'm just now starting to feel better and i'm hoping that um everything is good and i am completely better because it would be really nice to not have to worry about being sick anymore but yeah anyway so it's been a time, let me just tell you. So, we got some new furniture in and we've been working on just um, trying to make sure that everything looks really nice. And we just got that in, literally like, we just got the new furniture in. We had been waiting for it for a long time. Like, it, we ordered it in like, I think it was either March or April around like President's Day when they were having a sale and they told us that it would have been here in April. April went by, never showed up. So that was annoying. Then after, and you know, I had called multiple times to find out too because this furniture is not cheap. Like we were paying a good bit of money for it. It's definitely on up there. So I'm like constantly calling them to find out where it's at and um, what's going on. And they told me that they were having shipping delays and all this stuff. And I'm just like, well, I mean, like you told me when we ordered it, like it was gonna be here. So where's that? And it wasn't coming from out of the United States. So I don't really know why they were having shipping issues, you know, like it didn't really make sense. But anyway, so it did show up. It just um, showed up in May two, three months later, whatever. And um, so we got a new bed and we got, what else did we get? We got a new bed, a dresser, like a huge dresser and a new mattress. Um, we really desperately needed that new mattress, like bad. Like my actual back was killing me from our bed. And like, we had the same mattress on our bed for sometime like it literally had that same mattress for since Nathan and I like got together and bought our first apartment or whatever so it was definitely time for another one I don't know how often you're supposed to get new beds but anyway the place that we got it from the first mattress that we had was not a good place and um they kind of sucked on um all their quality sucked we have a, we got a lot of other stuff from them too and like i regret it thank god we didn't get our couch from them we got our couch from um farmer's furniture and it it's amazing it's lasted us you know that whole time and never had any issues out of that couch everybody loves that couch that comes over so i mean it's super comfy never had to worry about a thing and I am just using some shape tape concealer. I feel like everybody uses this concealer, so it's not anything special. 
I'll be honest, I was using a NYX concealer, and I'm not sure how other people pronounce that, but I pronounce it NYX, but it's um, NYX, and um, the concealer by them worked just as good, and it literally lasted me for like years, because I don't wear makeup that often anymore, and just never had to worry about buying new makeup. I know, obviously, like, if you're going by the, um, the actual package, it tells you how many days it's good for after opening before you get more, but I'm just using this on myself, so I don't ever really go by that, so I've had something for years, that's why. Yeah, so I'm going in with some Airspun Loose Face Powder, and this is, what is this by? Mm. Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder? Yeah, that's what it's called. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna use this to set my under eyes. And I have set mine with a beauty blender because I feel like I can just really like get in to the creases better. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but that's how I like to do it. I'm not really a beauty guru anymore. I feel like I used to really keep up with all the makeup trends and all that stuff, but as I have gotten older, the less makeup I wear, and I'm just not into all of that anymore, so I try to just wear, like I wear very minimal makeup most of the time if I ever even wear makeup, so. <laughs> Cause I'll be honest, I don't wear that much. It's really more of a, uh, if I have like a special event or I'm like filming or something like that, then yeah, I'll wear makeup. Or if it's like date night, I'll wear makeup. But other than that, I'll be honest, I do not put on a full face of makeup every day. And that really just is mainly because like, I work from home too. And it's kind of just like, what's the point, you know? Why would I? put a full face of makeup on if I don't have to because I'm gonna take that shit off later and it's gonna be annoying so I don't know about anyone else but I hate taking off makeup like it's like the bane of my existence and I use makeup wipes to take off my makeup obviously um probably not the most sustainable thing a lot of people now use like my cellular water and their you know own makeup cloth and I might eventually swap but for now I just choose makeup wipes for convenience the Neutrogena ones or Aveeno or whatever just makes it easier for me in my opinion to take off my makeup and they're travel easy I don't like bringing liquid containers when I go on vacation and stuff like that. So speaking of vacations, Nathan and I are going to the Dominican Republic. I don't know if I said that already or not, but anyway, we are about a month out from when we're gonna go and trying to work on getting everything that we need to go. So we have been in, well, I have been in last minute buying mode, like for just, last minute buying mode for just like small things that we need and for clothes too like I bought um some clothes to go on vacation because I feel like I have a problem like where every time we go on vacation I have to buy new clothes which is it's a it's a toxic trait for sure but anyway so I bought a lot of cute stuff from um Pretty Little Thing and um Princess Polly and boohoo so I will be doing a haul on everything that I got soon. I'm not sure how this is looking because the lighting in here, like I said, you know, is just not ideal. So if this looks crazy, I'll have to go fix it later, but, or afterwards and then come back. But, um, great. But also if you see me looking over here, I'm looking in the mirror. So yes. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. So I got some stuff from those places and I'll be doing a haul on those soon. When everything comes in, I'll probably just wait till everything comes in and then do it all at once because I don't have enough of each retailer to do them like individually. So I'll probably just do like a huge vacation haul with clothes. And I don't know if anybody else has issues with this, but I was trying to look up resort wear clothes. Like, you know, like if you're going to like a luxury resort, 
what kind of clothes you wear and stuff like that just to find out like ideas of like stuff to wear and um I could not find like hardly anything the only really retailer I could find was fashion to figure and fashion to figure is more of a plus size brand and from what I've heard their clothing sizes run big and their smallest size that they offer is like a 12 and I'm like a like a 12 so if it's like a big size 12 then it's not gonna fit me so I was too scared to order anything from them so I did go with other places but so we'll see how it goes but uh um, I did get this palette from Il Maquillage. This is a new palette. I just got this. Um, I've never tried any of their eyeshadow palettes before, so I'm super excited to try this one out. It's some pretty purples and pinks, which are pretty my like my go-to shades. But um, it's just a really nice. Um, I like how it's packaged. It'll be really nice to travel with. Take this on vacation. I'm gonna try not to bring too much stuff just i will actually probably i don't know which palette i'm gonna bring to be honest i have i have two other naked palettes that i really really like one of them is the naked honey and one of them is the naked heat and those are my favorite palettes that i use but the pigment in those are not as good so i'm trying to see how this one looks but anyway these are the colors and um yeah i'll be using this today so we'll see how it turns out I'm trying to match this uh bodysuit that i got on now i have this bodysuit from um skims um so like for skims like my opinion on skims is they do a really really good job with the quality of their um clothing nobody else i feel like has the fabric that they use it's super stretchy like you can tell like super stretchy this is a fits everybody body bodysuit and um i love it. this bodysuit is like super super nice it's really soft and all that good stuff so it's the only thing that i've got by them that and a bralette i did get one of their bralettes and i like the bralette a lot it's really soft so um I think I will be checking them out some more. I really wanted some of their swim stuff. They have uh, Skim Swim now and this like long swim like sarong and it's been sold out since they started their swim line and I really want it so whenever it goes back into stock I wanted to get it before I went on vacation but it does not seem to be going back into stock anytime soon unfortunately. So, I'm just uh, out of luck for that one, but the resort that we're going to actually has like a dress code for restaurants for mainly for the men, like just no sandals or no flip flops, no open toe shoes for men, they have to wear collared shirts, have a dinners and stuff like that, so it's uh, definitely interesting. So we've been trying to, you know, Nathan likes to wear t-shirts and stuff like that, but um, for the restaurants, he has some nice shirts, but we need to get him some more to wear so he has enough because we will be there for like six, six nights or six days. What is it? Five nights? Six days? I don't know. We're, we'll be there for like six nights or so, so we need enough stuff for, you know, that whole time for resorts. Um, for resorts for restaurants and stuff like that so i have enough bathing suits for every single day but well i did um i had to go return one because i got some from american eagle and i bought bathing suits from american eagle before but the uh, one that i got one of them says this really weird like the this one suits fits weird so i'm gonna take that one back because i wasn't crazy about it and then see if i can like swap out the bottoms for a bigger size because I did get like a large in all the bottoms, which is fine. Normally, you know, it's fine. And I thought that would be fine because the last time I ordered swimsuits from them, I got an extra large in the bottoms and the bottoms are too big. I still wear them anyway, but like if you're gonna go jumping around in beach waves and stuff like that, they're not ideal for that because they are so big. So I wanted to get more and a large. And so I bought those in a large and I feel like they're just very, uh, I mean, they're not very tight. I'd rather have an extra large, you know what I mean? So this is a Glossier Boy Brow. I don't use this that often, so I'm gonna see if I might use it today. I don't know. I've never tried that like brow freeze gel or whatever, mainly because like my brows are not, I don't feel like they would look that great with that. 
<laughs> I get that whole feathered brow look is a thing, but I can only do it to like an extent because my brows are just not, they're not full enough for that, really. Anyway, so let's see what this palette looks like. And if it's super pigmented, I'm gonna have to get another brush, but we will see. Oh, very much not that pigmented, unfortunately. Sad. What is up with brands nowadays? I feel like it's really hard to find really good like pigmented colors for eyeshadow nowadays and that's okay because i didn't want like super pigmented you know crazy looking or anything pink but i did want something you could actually freaking see you can't really even see it it's lucky because i didn't actually have to pay anything for this but i totally wouldn't have now you know thinking about it and i bet this is like super freaking dark let's see yeah i'm gonna have to blend the shit out of this but anyway, so just been in vacation prep, trying to really get things going and uh, hoping that things will be very much, very much done and uh, good by the time that it's time for us to go. We're only, like I said, like a month out or whatever, and we're excited. We can't wait to go, but just lots of things to do, making sure our passports and everything are good. and all of our documents are all up to date and this is our first time like well i say ours my first time flying out of the country i've never flown out of the country i've gone on a cruise but you know it doesn't really count going out of the country because you don't fly or go through customs well i take that back you do go through customs on a cruise boat but it's not like going through customs in the airport apparently so it'll be different for me and Nathan hasn't flown out of the country in a very long time, so it's practically new for him too. Neither one of us know what we're really doing, so. It'll be a learning experience for everybody. So yeah, I don't know, this pigment's not, I mean, this palette's not that bad. I take it back, but I am gonna look over here because the lighting much better. It's one thing I can't stand about this apartment is literally the lighting is so bad. It is so dark in here. Like, all the time and it's because like the sun like right now like you can see the sun but it doesn't really face the direction of the apartment so whenever I'm trying to film videos or something like that it always turns out like really really dark and it's just annoying and I can't wait to move eventually so other than that though like I freaking love it here like um this apartment is great it's been great to us um we really like it here because it's really quiet and we never really have to worry about anything. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's nice. We've been liking it for a while, so yeah. I wish I need to get like a lash lift or something because my lashes do not stay up. What is that like other people, you know, like when they wear mascara lashes, they kind of sit up. I don't really do that. <laughs> I don't know why, but they don't. They just kinda, they're like straight almost, which is weird because I don't even have straight hair, really. I mean, my hair's wavy, but I don't know. Yeah, see like, they look good like that, but then like later they'll be straight again. <laughs> it's weird, but um, yeah. I'm going to finish my makeup and then I will um, see you guys when it's done. Okay, we are back and I changed my mind. Actually, I really love that palette. Like, I wasn't sure. I think it was because of the, the lighting because I'm like using natural light from the window right now and I can see it so much better. It looks way better. But when I was using like just the lighting in our apartment, like, um... I couldn't see it and now looking at it it looks bomb so i am definitely gonna be taking that palette with me on vacation and it's super easy to pack so that makes it great as well but yeah so we are just about to go make us a little drink before i start organizing and by drink i mean iced matcha so let's go do that also, can we just take a moment to talk about how cute these sunglasses are that I got from 
Walmart by there by the brand um, tried and true or I always want to say tried and true but it's called time and true but anyway look at these glasses okay very much giving resort or big vibes I don't know I just I can't wait to wear these so I'm gonna be living in these at the beach and it's gonna be great <laughs> You're gonna hear some um, um, like AC in the background because uh, we live in the south and it's hot as balls outside. Definitely have got some stuff. I'm sorry, my table is super junky, but I did want to show you guys what I got from Target. So I do not have a box cutter, unfortunately. So uh, just using a knife over here. Anyway, um, I got some nutritional yeast. Um, we've been trying to make some more plant-based recipes because I just feel like it'd be nice to eat plant-based meals like two days out of the week. So I got that for that. And then I got some underwear. So I don't know. Wow, these look huge. Um, I don't know if these are gonna fit. They probably will fit. I'm probably just thinking they look huge. But anyway, um, these seamless Victoria's Secret underwear are like my favorite underwear, but I like the thong version because I feel like it's just um, super seamless. It looks really good with clothes and everything. So I got those and these are by the Auden brand. These look like, um, these might be okay. And I got like a bunch of pairs of these. They're all in the same color, but I'll let you know if these are comparable to the Victoria's Secret brand because People are now currently not making um, high-waisted things anymore, and I refuse to, like, have that happen. And then I also got these really cute earrings. Like, aren't these so cute? I might wear these today. I thought these were going to be a lot bigger than this, actually, so I'm kind of disappointed that they're not. But I'm probably going to wear these today, I guess. But yeah, they're super cute. That's what I got from Target. Okay, so these earrings are cute, but like they're super cheap. I feel like they feel cheap. They look kind of cheap. I mean, they look cute, but like for what? I, like they were like eight bucks, and I don't feel like they're good quality like at all. And like the backs barely like stay closed. It's just kind of annoying. So, yeah, that kind of sucks because I bought these online and not in person. So that's on me. I should have known better, but. I'll probably still keep them and wear them, but definitely not anywhere where I would have to worry about them falling out because they kind of don't, like the backs don't really close, which is stupid, but yeah. Okay, we're gonna make my favorite summer drink so far this year. It is an iced matcha latte. So what I first do, well, this is the matcha that I use. This is, um, organic matcha powder that I get from Publix. That stuff is expensive, by the way. It was like 20 something dollars for that little bag. But I can say that it lasts like a long, long time. So there's that. So then I just take like one third cup of like hot water and I use hot water instead of boiling water because I've noticed that, well, I didn't notice, but <laughs> I saw some people that had a very controversial conversation about using boiling water for matcha actually destroys all of the properties of it. So since then, I've just been using hot water instead to mix it. And then I just put that in there with my water and I'll take my little frother and just froth it until it is all mixed up and incorporated. I know a lot of people use that bowl with the brush, but this is just the most logical way to make sure everything is all incorporated and you don't have any chunks of matcha because that drives me insane. I don't know about anyone else, but I can't stand that. So uh, I'm just gonna put some, some, add some ice. And the holy grail of oat milk is my favorite oat milk. It's the Chobani Extra Creamy Oat Milk, and it's the best kind, literally the best kind. It's so satisfying to like 
watch the pour so i'm trying to get that where you can just see how nice it looks poured in there and everything is well incorporated and then i just add some organic maple syrup this one's a little sticky looking but whose isn't so to add some sweetness instead of using like artificial artificial sweeteners or anything lately i've just been using maple syrup and it's been working pretty well so but yeah this is the drink that i've been drinking for the last like i can say week i've been trying to get off of coffee and it's just been it's been really good and it tastes really good and i love it yes also so on my lips i'm wearing the fenty beauty gloss balm and i did notice that it has kind of like a plumping effect like your lips tingle after using it so that's kind of exciting because you know i don't have big lips obviously but i overline mine to get you know a little extra oomph or whatever you want to call it and i think that the fenty beauty gloss balm is just added a little bit more plumpness to them and i really like it so i'm just gonna enjoy my drink and uh, think about how i'm about to start organizing my closet soon so yeah what's up you guys we just went to walmart to get a couple of things i did pick up a camera and i'll unbox it and everything when we get home and let you know if i'm gonna keep it or not but uh i'm just trying to get a vlog camera because my phone is great and all but it would be nice to have an actual camera so i'm not trying to spend a ton of money on one right now so that one was like $199, so I'll let you know if it's worth it or anything. It does have 1080 FPS, which is what you need for YouTube, so um, I'll let you guys know. Nathan is now off work. Say hey. Hey. So we are going to Target now just to look around and uh, see what they got. So I'll see you guys when we get there. So I completely forgot to film at Target, but we are back home now. I just got a grilled chicken BLT salad from Jack's. Um, I've had these, or I've had one of these before, and it's really good. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna eat this real quick, and then eventually, I'm gonna organize the closet. At this point, I'm just procrastinating. Okay, so the camera I got is the Kodak Pix Pro AZ528, and is what it looks like and it looks really really good for what I'm gonna use it for anyway I mean I'm pretty much only gonna be using this straight up for you know filming and it was the cheapest one that I could find it was on sale it was actually originally like a lot more but um it was on sale for 199 dollars so that's what i got it for it looks nice comes with i think it might come with more than one battery or there's a lanyard and then a cover for the lens charging cable for i'm guessing the battery yeah that's what that looks like we have plugs right into the battery. Maybe. We'll see. No? I don't know exactly what that's. Unless, maybe you plug it into the camera and it charges the battery while it's plugged into the camera. That's interesting. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's what I got. I will let you know the camera quality, which you will probably notice because you'll be able to see it, but I have an iPhone 13 Pro, so my iPhone 
quality that I've been filming with is really, really good. So let's see if it's pairs with that. I just got out of the shower, but I just wanted to close out this vlog. Thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. If you liked my video, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.